Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will be showing you how to model a street light in Revit. S some street lights like these can always add more realism in your outside renders and this will be an interesting futuristic design so it will be fun to model and of course it will be a working family so it will be casting light so that's interesting to learn but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this video it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe so let's get started here I'm just going to go to a new family and for the family type you need to find these lighting families what lighting fixtures and I'm going to go to basically a generic like lighting fixture so I'm not going to go to ceiling based or wall based or any of that I'm just going to go to lighting fixture just the generic one and here it opens up so first I'm just going to set the units and I'm going to set the units to meters it's just easier for me or maybe let's go with centimeters that might be more appropriate for a family Okay, so now you, you can see here we have this circle and that's actually the, the light source and we need to adapt this first. So I'm just going to go to front elevation and if you can't see anything just type in ZA to find it, which means zoom all and here we have our light source and it's connected to this light source elevation and that I'm going to set up to 400 centimeters. Let's say that's the default street light height basically so once that's completed we can start creating the actual geometry of the model so to do so I'm just going to go back to floor plan and just want to see this is light source front back okay so let's go to the front elevation and now let's go create a sweep so to create this sweep I'm just going to go first to sketch path and let's set the work plane this is the one I want, light source, axis front back, OK. And now I'm just going to draw a line like so. And let's just set this distance to around half a meter. So I'm just going to go to 50. OK, once that's completed, let's make it a bit shorter like this. And now I'm going to continue on with a spline, so I'm just going to go like so, like this, and like this, and then I'm just going to hit enter to finish it, let's just cancel out of this, and now I'm going to connect it like so, maybe like that, okay let's make this a bit higher, yeah like that, and here I'm just going to end it with a normal line okay now I've created basically this path so now I'm going to finish it and this is actually the stand on which the light will stand now I'm going to go to edit profile and I can do that in the 3d view again just hit zoom all to zoom and here I can create basically this pole and let's say the diameter is I don't know like three centimeters and let's finish that finish and here we go, we have our pole, so let's add a material to it, so I'm just going to go here material and I'm going to go by category and let's, let's find some aluminum material, so I'm just going to scroll over here, find the metal, open it up, and I'm just going to scroll down, find some, find some aluminum like so, just push it up and go apply, okay. So we have our material, so let's create a light housing. This will be a circular light housing. So I'm just going to go here to basically reference level. And because we can't probably see that, I'm just going to go to VR and set this top over here to, I don't know, like 500 centimeters and this at 450. And go apply. Okay, so now we can actually see the top. So now let's go here into create and again I'm going to be using a sweep. So here I'm going to go sketch path and first let's set the work plane and the work plane will be light source elevation. So that's basically this work plane on which our light source is hosted on. And I'm going to go and create a circle starting 
from the center of our light source and ending basically in the middle of this pole. So something like that. Okay, once that's completed, I can come here and go into 3D. Okay, that looks about right. Go OK and now let's add it to the profile. So for the profile, I'm just going to create, let's create a rectangle first. And now let's set the distances. Let's make this, I don't know, like, let's go with seven centimeters. So this will be 14. And for the height, let's go, I don't know, let's go 12. And I'm just going to make this come in for, I don't know, two centimeters in here as well. Okay, and now let's use the offset tool and I'm going to offset by five millimeters or half a centimeter. So I'm just going to offset like this. And let's use the split line tool to split it and then trim and extend to trim this up a bit. Okay, once this is finished, we have our housing for the light. I can just hit enter and there you go. Here's our housing complete. So once that's done, I can select it and then add the material. So I'm just going to use aluminum as well. Okay, that looks about right. And let's add some connection part over here where it actually connects. So I'm just going to go to front elevation, zoom in over here, create an extrusion. And let's use the, I don't know, let's use the line command, create something like this over here as well. Make it come out a bit and here as well. And add some lines, I don't know, like so. And let's connect it all. I'm not trying to be too precise over here because it's just a generic family, but it needs to look nice. So now I can go into floor plan and here I can change the extrusion start and end at, I don't know, let's go with five and minus five. And yeah, that looks about right. So now when we go into 3D, yeah, that looks fine. So let's change the material here as well. So go aluminum, okay. And let's join geometry this to this. And let's join all of this to the pole. Okay, now we have something that looks like a light, but we need to add a diffuser over here. Something that basically, that, you know, that the glass that stands in front of the light bulb. And we need to add some light source or basically the photo photometry file that goes over here. So to do so, I'm just going to go here to floor level like this and I'm going to create just a regular extrusion. So I'm just going to go extrusion and I'm going to set the work plane at light source elevation. That's okay. And I'm just going to create a circle over here that goes to this point and an inside circle that goes to over here. Okay, that looks about right. Now once that's completed, I'm just going to go to front elevation and you can see it doesn't really look right. So I'm going to make it a bit smaller like this and now if I go into 3D it looks like that that also doesn't look right so I'm just going to go back to the front elevation yeah we need to bring it down a bit and as you can see over here we need to make this inner circle smaller so I'm just going to go edit extrusion go into 3D yeah, and let's change this. Let's try 43. Go apply, go front. It should be a bit smaller now. So edit extrusion. It has a bit of back and forth, but that's okay. So now 0.5, okay. Front, okay, that looks about right. So now if we go into 3D, yeah, that looks fine. So now we can select this diffuser over here and we need to add the material. Now this is the crucial point so I'm going to go here add material and I'm just going to go here to home Autodesk. Now you need to go here to glass or sorry not Autodesk this AEC material go into glass 
and here you have this glass white high luminance. So I'm going to use that one, that's actually a glowing material, so it will actually glow. So the glow isn't really coming from this photometry over here, this is just casting the light, but the actual glow of the diffuser or of the light source is coming from this material over here. So finally, let's just add this photometry over here, and to do so, you need to click here, light source definition, you need to choose this here light source, and I'm just going to go with this, a circular light source, and light distribution is this, go OK, and now you need to go into the family types, and here for the tilt angle you need to go at 90, so it would go directly down, and here you need to choose the photometry, or basically the IES file. So I saved one on desktop, I'm going to use this one and go apply, OK, and it looks something like this, so let's test it out. So I'm going to create a new project, so just go new project, architectural template, OK. Let's just create a floor on which this is based. Yeah, that looks fine, so let's go back to our light family, load it into project, place it over here, hit escape, and let's create a camera, like so. Yeah, that looks about right, so let's make it a bit smaller. And now let's render it. So I'm going to go here to the render tab, just hit double R, so this will be a medium rendering. Let's set it to screen, and let's set it to exterior artificial only, and hit render. So let's see what happens. And there you go. Now you can change the actual brightness of the light, but this is basically how our light looks. You can see the diffuser is glowing, that's really good. So now if we want to edit this, if let's say you want to make it brighter, you can come in here and change these inputs, these values, you can make it higher, and it will be brighter. Okay, let's close this up. So that's pretty much it for this video, that's how you can model a light in Revit. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.